will be watching another of those confessions video chat in preparation for our own confession stream so we're gonna be watching this and we are gonna be doing uh, our own viewers confession stream sometime this month so say hi to youtube everyone come over to not miss the milking stream wait, 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 wait. the milking stream the milking stream already happened <laughs> Only the people that are regulars here know about the milking stream. I don't even know if they remember that. Okay, chat. Let's watch your school confessions. I'm back and I'm black. Last video, I asked you guys for your confessions, specifically your school confessions on the craziest events that happen at your school. And after reading multiple submissions, I realized most of y'all schools have something in common. So much so, it feels like all you guys went to the same school. What if that is actually the case? What if they were all just a group of friends? <laughs> just sending a bunch of confessions there. Most of these confessions were about your freaky couples doing stuff in class or in the hallways, the weird old teachers that were caught watching the dirty, or trying to do it with another student. People getting leaked, a lot of explicit stuff going on. I swear, like 80% of these submissions involve poop, beating it at school, and f and when it was- Why is poop the first one? That was also the same case on the other, on the other confessions video. Why is there always so much stuff about poop? Poop, man. And that it was like uh, I pooped my pants in kindergarten. Bro, it's kindergarten. Bro. I expect everyone in kindergarten is gonna be pooping their pants. Come on, bro. That maybe I should have thought ahead. I'm not really known for <laughs> using my brain. <clears throat> but if I have to read someone smearing poop, I used to take poop. That's probably poop, right? In my hand and throw them. I shit it on the bathroom floor and smear it across the wall. Why? Why? There's always people that do this, right? You ever went to a public bathroom and there was just shit everywhere? I saw a load in the urinal. The whole school was talking about it. Sometimes there was poop on the wall. What the fuck, bruh? in the bathroom one more time i'm gonna lose it this was a mistake like something <laughs> else i've done recently that i cannot elaborate on coffee 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 ah cool a contract let's sign it so i'm just gonna go <laughs> off and read my favorite ones that i could find all right let's start this out with a short one one time when the teacher left the room to talk to a student i checked the teacher's search history and find zootopia <laughs> No, bro. No. Oh, man. You know, that's why you don't mess on your teacher stuff. It's better to just fully stay away from it. Because sometimes, sometimes they accidentally show it themselves, right? You guys ever had a teacher, like, bringing their personal laptop to show a PowerPoint or something? And maybe you saw something bookmarked? Or <laughs> maybe some message popped up? Oh, man, this happens way too much they just don't know how to handle technology nah 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 stuff you know we're off to a good start i used the school bathroom to piss bruh will you ever forgive me you actually used the school bathroom oh wait what's this <laughs> What is this co-op pooping thing here? Would you use this? Would you use that as cool? No fucking way. We hold hands together while pooping. Yeah, you can. You can. YouTube, we also hold hands in the basement while pooping. Yeah, yeah. Who leaked pictures of the basement here? Go on. <laughs> To use the bathroom? You're disgusting! What's next? You wash your hands in the school bathroom too? You freak! I share a class. What was that video? What was that? As with a super senior, and we we're doing a homework assignment about school threats. I made a comment on how sometimes students make threats all talk and no fight. The super senior called me a c and started approaching me. Told his b that if he wants to fight, let's fight. But the teacher pulled him aside and told him to go outside and calm down. And then this chess motherfucker had the audacity to throw a water bottle at me. And we both got sent to the office. The super senior looks like an edgy, quiet kid. <laughs> what was that, bruh? I thought. 
thought they were gonna get into a fist fight. Bro just threw a plastic bottle at them. Ah, oh, no, man. No, 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 no. Oh, bro, you should have never messed with him, bro. You're first up on his list. If I were you, True. I'd start being as friendly as possible. Get him Magic the Gathering cards or something. You know, something that'll make him happy. This happened last year, and I went to the drinking fountain with my buddy after PE, and I heard noises in the bathroom. So he went to check it out, and when we jumped to the look at the stalls, we saw the math teacher plowing the English teacher in the freaking male bathroom in between periods. <laughs> is freaking insane he took a picture of it and showed the school administration and he got suspended for taking the picture but both teachers were fired why was he suspended he why was he suspended <laughs> Bro. Uh, am i covering too much text uh, i think maybe i am right this would be better right i genuinely don't take pictures of people in the bathroom true true but i guess they needed some proof about what the teachers were doing you know because if you just go there and say the math teachers fucking the english teachers yeah uh, they, they're probably they're not gonna say anything they're just gonna say that you're the lulu right took photo evidence of two teachers doing indecent exposure in a school bathroom unless he spread it around to all the other students he should yeah 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 i think like as long as they didn't like fucking put that on the internet or show that to everyone if it was if it was literally just to tell them what was going on that feels like fine i guess I never got suspended what's worse is that the english teacher was cheating on his wife <gasps> yes it was two male teachers and he had a son that was in our class and bro never forgave us oh no what do you mean forgave us you shouldn't forgive your dad for doing that oh my god bro what the hell oh oh this is all so fucked up oh my god nah if i was bro i'd switch schools man there's no yeah. coming back from that like what yep. his dad did is almost as bad as having like an only fans mom you know <laughs> Not as bad, but it's pretty close. <laughs> Clowning will never stop. I'm sorry for the interruption, but this video is also sponsored. Ah, cool. This okay. video is sponsored by Dragon City. Dragon hey, City yo. is a great fun mobile game for the whole fam to play. You can make your own dragon empires by collecting, hatching, and involving over a thousand unique dragons. That's a lot of dragons. You can make your empires look like whatever you want with this game's magical habitats, buildings, and decorations. Engage in crazy PvP fights with other players to make sure your dragon stays on top. You can unleash nice. the wrath of your dragon skills with your big brain strategies to accomplish challenging quests and events. Join an amazing community of amazing players and work together to unlock exclusive rewards. And it won't be hard to find good players because Dragon City has over 450 million downloads. So Damn. what are you waiting for? Download Dragon City now using my link in the description or by by scanning this QR code right here, right here. And when using my link, you get a special bundle with 15,000 food, plus 30,000 oh, gold, plus damn. the epic OV dragon for free to get you started. That, that's crazy. Nice, Again, nice. what are you waiting for? Download Dragon City now. Thank you, Dragon City, for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. There was this one dude who was friends with me since I moved to this state five years ago, and we've been drifting apart recently because he has some unsavory things about certain people that I did not want to be associated with. Huh. Yeah, let me guess. He was racist. <laughs> He was very into airsoft. Yeah, he was definitely racist. He didn't have a lot of friends, but he thought of me as a friend. Fast forward to now, and it's Halloween 2023. And this kid comes into school wearing a full military tactical outfit with a bulletproof vest and a helmet. Everyone already thought this kid. No, dude. <laughs> This is the time to run. It was a threat. And today, people made sure to be extra nice to him. Just in case, you know. <laughs> I mean, better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> I'm glad I stopped being around this kid so much because I really do not want to be known around this guy. Yeah, your former friend is super weird, bro. I'm so glad that you got out of that friendship. But if I saw someone show up in that fit to school one day, honestly... I'm I'm yeah. or I'm early yeah. dismissing myself. I'm not gonna stay at the school, possibly gonna get shot. I'm gonna leave. Some of got his pants stolen off of him while he was taking a shit. Like someone just crawled under and yanked them off. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> See, that's why people were scared to go to the bathroom at school. Who the hell robbed him, Mr. Bean? My <laughs> friend and I walked into the school thought giving the <laughs> to a teach. The what? 
Big bro was moaning like crazy. It was wild. But after the school heard of this, the teacher was fired and the thought was suspended for three weeks. That day is now known as, did that shit really happen to you? <laughs> oh my god, dude. P.S. You is not beating no damn demon. The fuck is you on? Yes, I am. I'm built different. Don't tell me what I can't beat. In year eight on some cold ass morning, this kid who I only talked to like once or twice, he was weird, had asked me if I wanted to see something. I said, yes, of course. And he opened his jacket to show me a grenade. What? <laughs> this kid walked into school with a grenade and when our classes started, the building he was in evacuated because he threw the grenade, pinned still in, and everyone started screaming and ran. Police showed up and everyone got to find out what really happened. Oh my Turns out God. his grandpa fought in either World War II or the Vietnam War and kept the grenade as a memento which is illegal, and this kid managed to get his hands on it. After police confiscated it, they safely destroyed it. Bunch of kids needed counseling, and the kid was taking some time to himself, which just meant he was expelled, but my school hates that word for some- It's, it's always like that. No, yeah, he's just, uh, he's just taking some time to think. Some reason. Bro, imagine if the school's weird kid approaches you and pulls out a grenade. Like, what do you do in that situation? Honestly, I don't know what I will do. Because if he pulls the pin, how do I get away? If I run away, he's just gonna chuck that shit at me and I'll blow True. up. If I stay there, he's gonna stay there too and I'll blow up. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Thank God he didn't pull the pin. And yep. thankfully, everybody at your school is safe. At my high school. It was legit just a very weird kid. No weird, I'm gonna kill everyone. Just weird <laughs> there was this girl that everyone had a major crush on turns out she was sleeping with Oof. everyone i know this because i might have slept with her <laughs> i might have like, what does that mean <laughs> got a boyfriend and slept with someone else while having a boyfriend the boyfriend killed the random npc and huh? went to jail after this she was questioned by police and told them that the boyfriend wasn't satisfying her turns out she had mental problems and went to a ward fast forward seven years later and my girlfriend meets this really nice person it's the same girl. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay very far away from this. Chat, I know you like crazy, but there's limits. There's limits, chat. Bruh, run. <laughs> Basically, I bought a gun to school because I huh? was super mad at my teachers and classmates for making fun of me. I then walked in school, got patted down because one of my friends ratted <laughs> on me, and I had got expelled. Props to the friend. What the fuck, dude? How are you, like, proudly saying this? Thank God, bro. What's with these yep. school threat stories, bro? You think I'm gonna be on your side, man? No. Yeah, I'm not. no. I hope you learn from this. Don't be a school threat. Right. It's not cool, cool dude. dude. When I was in high school, it was revealed that the mystery meat they've been giving us for almost four years was monkey meat. Ah! Apparently, the meat supplier for the school was a crooked piece of shit who wanted to make a huge profit. So instead of chicken or, I don't know, horse meat, he got us monkey meat. Where the fuck do you live, bro? I feel like monkey meat would be so much more expensive than, I don't know, chicken. <laughs> Let's just say the school was locked down afterwards huh. and the supplier got arrested. That's just so gross. That's probably being served in every f***ing high school, honestly. Based on some of the meat I've seen in my old school, too. I bet that's monkey meat also. Chess, that's supposed to be choky milk. What the f*** is that? Ugh. I blame Michelle Obama for all of this. If it wasn't for her, you guys would have be eating monkey meat. So basically there has been this rumor going around and is that Jimmy smashed Josh's girl. So people kept it away, of course, and it ain't true. But Josh, he's a rebellious MF. He picks fights, so you know what he did? He smacked his girl and beat Jimmy's ass. What the hell? Am I supposed to know who these people are? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do a speed run around real quick on a bunch of short confessions I got. So I can put as many confessions in this video as possible. So three. What was that video? <laughs> Two, one, let's go. I sold explosives at school. Huh. Someone put rat poison inside the water. A teacher ran over a student. <laughs> what the hell? Someone put laxatives in the school lunch. Yeah. Group chat leaked. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, that's the scariest thing here. Chat, how many people here would be in trouble if your group chat leaked, huh? I smoked a blunt, got high, then sucked my homie's feet for two hours and 16 minutes. <laughs> what? How do you know it down to the minutes? 
that sauce chat that yeah that's the usual basement activities they filmed it that's the only that's the only reasonable explanation as to why he knows it down to the minutes maybe they did film it bro timed it what the hell my teacher said i would be a failure speaking? so i slept with her husband if only you knew i, I don't know so, so why don't you tell me the fat kid in my school fought someone over a cheeseburger <laughs> Nah, uh, uh, you are not messing with my cheeseburger. Nutted in a saxophone. What? No, no. Uh, uh, why? Why? Uh. A girl got pregnant with her stepbrother's kid and had a miscarriage in a fight. I'm gonna leave it at that. Damn. Oh my god, they're taking the stepbrother, stepsister thing too seriously, Oh! I shoved my backpack Charlie stick up multiple people's asses. The bees attacked the entire school, it was crazy. My school boring as hell, bro. I ain't got Damn. nothing to say. Same. I was <laughs> Who relates to the boring school? <laughs> I was eating jerks chickens in the stall when some dude walked in thinking no one is in there and I ended up spraying on him. No! This dude got so traumatized, bruh. Was that not locked? Did it, did it not lock properly? I don't know, man. I'm sure this dude like started knocking on stalls after that. <laughs> Just to make sure, man. Oh, fucking hell. Nasty. Once I was caught reading Yaoi in class. I do homeschooling, by the way. And had two teachers sit at both sides of my huh? table. S so your parents caught you? <laughs> Right? Ox. Also, That's someone it. was stabbed over two dollars. All right, enough huh. with the speed run round. Let, let's go back to the normal confessions, you know? So I used to run a school confession Instagram account. Then there was one confession that I got about a girl f***ing a dog and got pregnant. <laughs> what? Wait. Uh, no, this can't happen, right? No, this can't happen. That's not possible. <laughs> Full metal alchemist! No, no! <laughs> it just it doesn't work that way, right? No, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not biologically possible. Yeah, yeah. No, this girl here was fucking around and didn't want to admit and for some reason wanted to blame the dog. Dude, dude, you can blame the dog for not doing your homework. You can't blame your dog for getting pregnant. That's not how it works. <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> I didn't even know that. I live in an Islamic country to an Islamic school, which if y'all know means the guys and gals are separated. And the only Aww. way we can even sniff the guy's presence <laughs> is to talk to them on Insta or whatever. Huh. But some freaking how, one of the girls from my class had S, unfiltered pure S with a guy in one of the girls' bathrooms. In look, look, especially when you separate people like that. They will find a way. They will find a way. That's when, like, that's when they will make sure that they will find a way. <laughs> in the girl's section, and it gets worse. Because not only did this happen in seventh grade, but also apparently these two were half siblings. Oh, no, man. No. Oh, my God. No, dude. Which kind of explains how they were able to meet up. But still, oh. these mother effers got expelled when they found out. But how did they find out? Well, uh, the girl got pregnant. Again! We already had a stepsister. Oh, oh no, bro. Oh, my God, chat. Ah. And from what I've heard, it was twins. Oh, my God. They actually had the babies. Oh, my uh, God. And to this day, I will never find out why she had S in the school bathroom with her half brother I don't know. someone please save me from this freaking life <laughs> half brother half not even a step brother half yep. 
That's worse. Yeah. Some kid jumped off the second story of the school auditorium to avoid getting a Spanish test. Oh my we God. still got the test. <laughs> Imagine willing to sacrifice your legs to avoid a Spanish test just to still get the test and fail. You'd have to watch out for me, bro. One time in eighth grade, I saw my crush walk into the girl's bathroom to take a dump. And after she was done, I licked the toilet seat. No! Chat! That's some chat behavior here! No! No, 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 no! Ugh, ugh. Don't lick a chat! No, stop, stop! Bro, honey, you guys have not heard of self-restraint. The craziest thing that happened in my school in the UK would definitely be when someone came in with a medical needle and started stabbing other kids <laughs> with feet. Oh, that's some UK moment right here. What the fuck, bro? Dude's learning already. Then started to say that it was AIDS, and as you may be able to predict, a lot of kids ain't appreciate it. So a lot of them tried to f him up, but he was so quick. Until a bunch of kids blocked the door just to beat the living hell out of him. And just when you think it's over, two feds charged in the classroom and literally tackled him to the ground and cuffed him. So yeah, we all wondered why the teachers ain't do anything, because like, this kind of thing doesn't go unnoticed. Well, that's because they literally called the cops and didn't want him to expect it. And that's not true. The teachers didn't do anything because they didn't want to catch AIDS either they just, <laughs> just waited for the cops a whole investigation took place and i'm pretty sure our school made the news but there's a lot they missed out anyways fuck you you syringe swinging we had to get metal detectives and search north korea airport style for the next year oh my god <laughs> you know at, at least everything seemed to work out right giga chance the dude that actually like go got the guy down and everything beat the shit out of him going into school and purposely trying to spread aids is a <laughs> act that only the most nefarious people would do yep. hope you're safe bro and i hope you didn't catch the virus all right bro check it because you will genuinely not believe this shit. now i'm from an area called the dmv and let me tell you something bitches in the dmv are bad shit crazy back in the seventh grade i had a very deadly beef with practically everybody in my grade. Huh. I was sure with like nine people, but the rest wanted to see my ass more dead than Will Smith's career. <laughs> One night when I came home from school, I was chilling in my room when my mom breaks down the door like SEAL Team 6 and snatched my phone out my hands like it's a ghetto girl's weed. She starts scrolling through it and goes into my camera roll, then proceeds to tell the person who she was on the phone with that my phone was clean. It was my principal. I was weirded the fuck out until she came back 30 minutes later asking me if I had made any threatening or even said things that sounded remotely threatening about my school. I said huh? no while she proceeded to show me an email with screenshots of a Snapchat account with vaguely threatening messages. The Snapchat account was a fake account of me and I was shocked as fuck. My mom huh? told me to go to bed since my principal, who was known for calling the police a lot over small things, I called the cops to protect the school. Oh Again, my God. we were going to have to go to the police station to clear everything out with the cops and explain the situation to me. What I was able to find out through some digging and a fucking confession to one of my friends who went undercover was that this was another one of my ex-best friend's ploys to get me expelled. Bro, what the fuck, dude? They used a VPN, all accounts, and burner devices to fake an account of me. Long story short, I ended up leaving the school and finishing my last month online, aka watching Netflix all day. While my brother went online, exposed their evil deeds, and the culprits got beat up for it. Deserved. Deserved. Hey, at least there's a happy ending. Damn, bro. Who the hell your ops? The League of Villains? I yeah. never understood having ops in, like, this young of an age. Seventh grade? Damn, bro. What you do to have so much beef with so many people, bro? All right, let's read one last one. There's this pick me that literally no one likes, not even the teachers. So like last week we had a history test. Everyone loves the history teacher. And the class was dead silent, you know, working hard and stuff. But like near the end of the class, the pick me got up and yelled, I'm done. And everyone looked at her and this boy <laughs> told her to shut the, the fuck up. up. The teacher <laughs> heard it and she didn't say anything. So the pick me was complaining how it was unfair and how everyone is so rude and all the teachers was doing is staring at her and the pick me said that's why you have so many miscarriages what the fuck dude oh my god what's wrong with these people what the hell the teacher just got back from the hospital after her third oh, miscarriage the teacher bro. got up and smacked her <laughs> 
oh, you know, you know, it's sad because this is deserved, but you, you can't really do that. Then yes, all the girls in the that. class, including me, got up and beat the <laughs> shit out of the pick me. She ran out of class and came back with the principal. But everyone said the pick me was lying for attention. And people told the principal what the pick me said about the teacher, so she got suspended. The class made a promise to never speak about what actually happened and to protect the history teacher. Based, based class. She deserved it. Like you can't, you can't just say stuff like that, dude. What the hell? You need to learn, you know. I can't tell if you guys are the heroes or the villains of this story, bro. <laughs> I don't know whose side to take on this one. No, 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 no. What the fuck is wrong with this girl, dude? Was it wrong of the teacher to go there and slap her? Yes, that that was wrong. A teacher shouldn't do this. But you know, still. It was deserved. It was deserved still, you know? So I'ma just... <laughs> huh? Who's And that's all the confessions I'm gonna be reading today. I know these were a lot more tame than the last one. It was! To be fair, I was... So we had another video, another confession video before this one, right? And that one was Jesus, fuck, what the hell? So like, this one was pretty tame. I'm actually a little bit surprised, you know? But I'm not trying to get age restricted again. But most of the confessions I didn't read were just like, you know, school beaters and <laughs> weird teachers. You know, that, that was 90% of his confessions. I'll 100% uh -huh. do this again in the future. I love reading you guys' confessions. I really do. With a different topic in mind. Thank you again, Dragon City, for sponsoring this video. Remember to click my link in the description to get the exclusive bundle. The Remember, dog. I hope you enjoyed. And in conclusion, <laughs> I'm trying to buy a Hellcat, okay? I'm sorry. That's fair, that's fair. No, don't worry, don't worry. You gotta get that bag, bro.